Welcome uh, to the Basel space of uh, House and Worth, um, gallery space in Basel, which has been um, quite recently opened, June um, this year, basically, with a solo presentation by Danish artist Willem Hammersoy. And um, so it's, my name is Carl Knell, so I'm running the space here and I'm senior director and like focusing on like the historical um, artist of the gallery. So we are now um, in, exhibition which is um, being opened like now called um, Körperlich, Bodily, Visible Body and it's a group exhibition with eight different um, female protagonists, important artists, female artists of the 20th century. Um, so it's a historical show including um, Louise Bourgeois, one of the core artists of the gallery, um, including um, the important sculpture work of uh, Shapovnikov, um, including um, Swiss um, legendary artist, so to speak, um, Merit Oppenheim here in the back. And basically it's a group show, um, including some really important um, artists of the gallery, where the gallery is like committed since a long period of time, like this very important and quite often um, shown sculpture by um, Louis de Bourgeois, for example, and then like really including works which are not foreign to the gallery, which have been um, in the main interest of Ursula Hauser, like the collector from the collection, um, so to speak, but still it hasn't been shown within the gallery's program. So, for example, Karl Rama, which is um, being considered one of the most important, like, female Italian artists. So these are two works um, from the mid um, 60s to two works which are also like including the topic of what is a body, what is a female body, what is a distorted body. And if you go closer, I don't know if you can any, do can any close ups, you will see it's a painting, but it's really like in a very three dimensional way. You see like the plaster, you see how she like sprayed the paintings how she glued this kind of collages in here. Um, this work is from 69. Uh, it's a very important um, painting. And luckily, and that's very nice, it's like more or less a coincidence, but there will be a major retrospective opening um, at the beginning of October in Frankfurt at the Schönkunsthalle, and the exhibition will then move um, to Bern, to the Kunstmuseum. So in a way, it's very nice to feature this artist with like three very important works or smaller works, which is quite intimate, but like also has a incredible wall power, so to speak, and which is also playing between being a painting, being a body, being a like living dead kind of material, like with these collages, like including often plastic and very experimental um, materials. And I thought, and we thought that it's a very nice um, exchange and conversation, especially actually with these, uh, with the central piece by Louis de Bourgeois. Here are like two works by Merit Oppenheim. Also, uh, a relation I think is very important. This is one of the most uh, like largest painting by her from like the mid 60s. And also here again, it's like abstract, obviously. But then you ask yourself, is it really abstract? It's very organic, like this kind of piece of wood, which is like <clears throat> applied on the canvas. The canvas is painted, but also here you will see different kind of like um, structures of sculptures of gesso. So it's also here the question, what is a body? What is an abstract body? What is a painting? What is a sculpture? Uh, is it living? Is it like mortal? Um, so in this sense, and actually like next to this, like work on paper, but still the mask, like the sculpture, um, a small, a small but beautiful gem by, also by Merit Oppenheim. I'm quite close to the date, basically. So we thought this is a 
interesting room. And of course, like um, Shapovnikov, I think it's nice to also um, have a closer look here. Um, a plaster sculpture is one of the very rare um, plaster sculptures um, of like, also you can call it the self-portrait somehow, with the lips small but extremely intimate, extremely fragile, and um, in this sense also at least a body part of a portrait, so to speak. I think um, we are like just moving slowly to this direction. Hello. So we are in, actually quite interesting also in the topic of um, body and the abstraction of a body, Maria Lasnik, which also is, I wouldn't say always self-portrait, but it's always a reflection on her body, um, on, on herself, on, on her images. And it's, it's very beautiful to have this work um, within this group of like less colorful works. This again, um, it's getting noisy now, sorry. Um, is a work by Carlo Rama, again, um, an abstract work. And it's, it's, it's very important to know that Carlo Rama, very similarly actually to Lucie Bourgeois, like nearly all her work are somehow um, an, an autobiography. And it's about a reflection about her childhood. And her father had a um, company, like a production of like um, wheels, plastic wheels. And at some part, he went bankrupt and uh, committed suicide. And this um, strategy had a huge implication on the whole family, on her mother. So there was extreme suffering, extreme distortion of her biography. And it's always these works, you feel there's a certain weight, there's a certain, like, also kind of, uh, as I said, a reflection on her inner self and her early childhood. And the material of like the plastic, like the chopped pieces of this wheel is always, always a, in a way, a self-portrait in every painting, even though it might seem like an abstract painting in itself. This is next to Lilo Zano, like a great um, major um, American female artist, also like working on the topic of the body or on different body parts, so to speak, but also on abstraction. You see like the face here, but the rest is really purely abstract. So it's very interesting to see how these two aspects of being abstract and being about like a body and something sculpture are like um, closely linked. Um, here in the back, we see something which um, is also something which is not uh, within the gallery's program, but we are very happy to be able to show these for, and I'm not allowed to say photographies, but they are like sculptures by Hannah Fidiger, a Swiss artist, an artist who at the beginning was doing amazing sculptures, but more or less destroyed everything. And then she moved on like buying Polaroid, uh, like Polaroid photographies and doing like photos of herself, of her skin, of like different movements. So these are all like unique sculptures, so to speak. and. Um, we are extremely happy to, to, to show these works um, alongside um, Louise Bourgeois, Shapovnikov. Like here in the back is actually a very nice um, in between with an early work by Irene Zurkenten from the 30s. So we try to exchange materials, topics, biographies, artists. And I think that's, that's, quite, that's quite nice. At the entrance is a more. Um, I would say a more private room. So these are like two, this is actually a friendship room. So this is one of this like most iconic um, works and pieces in this case, a table, a table sculpture, uh, also reflecting obviously on, on the body um, of uh, Merit Oppenheim, like a, a, lifetime, a lifetime work. So there's a small edition of 30 pieces of this table. And this is one of this um, lifetime um, uh, tables and then in the back you have actually the closest friends of Merit Oppenheim, um, Irin Zurkinden. Um, so they they have a very close biography. So Irin Zurkinden and Merit Oppenheim spent her early years in the 30s in Paris. So these are drawings uh, from from the early sketchbooks. Also again on like on the body, but also here the distortion, dancing, shoes, objects, self-portrait. Self-portrait, self-portrait, self-portrait with her husband, but then always bringing like collage, bringing like abstract elements, or even like this is particularly interesting, like this bust, which is also 
kind of a female body, but then like it's it, it seemingly also might be a sculpture. So it's also reflecting on this topic. And actually being very nicely in this room compared to this late work by Merit Oppenheim again. Like it's one year before she passes away and she's like actually drawing or more like painting uh, both of her legs. So this is a small walk through um, this exhibition which um, tries to combine like Swiss artists, international artists, artists which are linked to the gallery, artists which haven't been shown before. So it's this in between and this exchange of this historical protagonists.